the answer for the question which i left in the last video are option 3 6 and 7 for convenience let's consider the intersection point of line qr and line qp as o now consider the triangle coq as it is a right angle triangle angle at q is 90 minus x a line between c to p triangle cqp is an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle the altitude divides the angles into equal parts as c y is the altitude so angle cop is also equal to x now consider the triangle c p r as it is also an isosceles triangle because c p is equal to c r now angle c p r is equal to angle c r p so that is equal to 90 minus x by 2 now consider the triangle c o p in triangle c o p angle at p is equal to 90 minus x from our previous findings angle c p r is equal to angle c p o plus angle o p r angle c p r is equal to 90 minus x by 2 is equal to angle c p o which is equal to 90 minus x plus o p r is which we have to find out it is equal to y so solve this equation y is equal to x by 2 that means x is equal to twice times y the triangle c q r it is an isosceles triangle because c q is equal to c r as both are radius of the circle so angle at r is equal to y so the remaining thing at the angle c is equal to 180 minus 2y as we already know the angle on the straight line is 180 degrees the total angle at c is it should be equal to 180 degrees so 180 minus 2y plus x is equal to 180 degrees if we solve this equation we will get x is equal to twice the value of y the angle on the straight line is equal to 180 degrees x is equal to 180 degrees so we have to prove y is equal to 90 degrees draw a line between q to c it will divide the existing triangle into two parts both the parts are isosceles triangles because cq is equal to cr is equal to cp because all the three lines are radius of the triangles now if angle at r is equal to alpha the angle at q in the triangle is alpha again if angle at p is equal to beta in the triangle angle at q should be equal to beta now we know sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees angle p plus angle q plus angle r is equal to 180 degrees so alpha plus beta plus alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees so 2 times of alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees which is equals to y x is twice the times of y 